Hi guys, today I'm going to be making gluten-free strawberry shortcake using gluten-free bisquick. I decided to make a beer biscuit. Recently, when I was at a local package store where I get my gluten-free beer to make my gluten-free batter bread, down at Corey's place, it's called Gateway, John, the owner, gave me this gluten-free strawberry beer. So I'm going to try this in this recipe. It's, he's really wonderful, John. He really helped me out tremendously to pick out a beer for my bread. So I'll put all the measurements down below to show you how to make gluten-free strawberry shortcake with beer biscuits. You start off by mixing the gluten-free biscuit with the sugar. Next you want to cut in some chilled butter with either a pastry blender or a fork. I took my eggs and slightly beat them with a little bit of vanilla. I'm going to add this now to the biscuit mixed with butter. And we just need three quarters of the strawberry beer. Now we're going to mix that together. I used a rubber spatula to thoroughly incorporate everything. It makes six biscuits. I place mine on a Silpat liner on a cookie sheet, otherwise put them on a grease cookie sheet. I have my oven preheated to 425 degrees, now I'm going to bake them. Now I'm going to slice up the strawberries. Mix the strawberries with some sugar to your taste, mix it well, and let it sit. I like to puree up some of the strawberries for, for the juice. I'm going to use my Black & Decker Handy Chopper Plus and just mix it up. Now I'm going to mix this back in with the strawberries. I just mixed in the pureed strawberries. I'm now going to cover it and put it in the refrigerator and it'll get nice and juicy. The biscuits took 15 minutes to bake. You bake them until they're golden brown. They smell really good. And you let them cool on a wire rack. The strawberries have been sitting in the refrigerator for a couple hours. You can see it made a nice sauce. So now we're going to assemble the strawberry shortcakes. Here's the inside of the shortcake. You can see it's nice and soft. The bottom's golden brown. You can serve them room temperature or what I did. I just warmed them up in the microwave for about 20 seconds. That's the bottom layer. Now we're going to put the top on it. Here we go, gluten-free strawberry shortcake. I took a little taste of the biscuit before I put the strawberries on. It tastes absolutely delicious. It would be great with just butter or just some jam. So now I'm going to try it out with the strawberries and the whipped cream. I just tried the gluten-free strawberry shortcake. It's really good, guys. Recipe will be in the information section. Hope you like it. Enjoy. I'm going to store the remainder of biscuits in a Ziploc bag and we'll have this tomorrow night as well for dessert. You want to not overdo the sugar when you put it in the strawberries. I put about a quarter of a cup because the gluten-free beer definitely added some sweetness to it. It was absolutely delicious. My husband really loved it. So thanks for watching. Have a great day everybody.